Well, hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to Obsessive Compulsive Gaming. My name is Joey and I'm obsessed with video games. And today we're going to review the Skull and Bones beta. But before we do that, if you wouldn't mind, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, all that fun stuff. So, the Skull and Bones beta went live in the very early hours of this morning here in the United Kingdom. And uh, this is a game that's been a long time coming. In fact, I think it was announced just after uh, Assassin's Creed 4 released. Um, and it's been in development since then. And frankly, <laughs> having played the beta, I have absolutely no idea why it took so long. Because essentially what this is, is the ship sequences from Assassin's Creed 4, without most of the characterization, without most of the dialogue, there wasn't really a story I could... Uh, get a grasp of other than uh, you're a captain of a ship, your ship crashes, uh, you're essentially sent back to square one and then you have to build up your reputation again and become the biggest, most badass pirate in the seven seas. Um, apart from that, there was no story to speak of. So yes, it's the sailing sequences from Assassin's Creed 4. So you basically commandeer a ship, loot items, Go to quest givers, they will tell you to go loot more items, you go and loot more items, you can upgrade your ship, and that's it. Now while Assassin's Creed 4 had combat, and even in the ship sequences, uh, when you uh, dealt enough damage to a ship, you could board the ship, which would mean, you know, you would pull up alongside the ship, you'd swing onto the ship, you would massacre everyone on the crew, and then you would take over the ship and loot it and whatever. In this game, you don't do that. You just give the ship damage, go up alongside it, press the triangle button, and you loot everything automatically. So there's no hand-to-hand -hand combat, no swords, fights that I saw anyway, and I played a couple of hours of this beta, doing nothing but quest missions. All it was was sailing, 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 getting items, going back to the port, giving the items over, going back out, getting more items, maybe sinking a ship or two, uh, and, and, and wash, rinse, repeat. And I found it to be incredibly dull. Seriously, incredibly dull. And I was willing to give this game a chance. You know, I said, I'll play the beta. Depending on what I think of the beta will determine whether I buy the game. I am not buying the game because all it is from what I have seen in the few hours I've played, is sailing, getting items, looting items, going back, that, you know, you don't, ex you haven't explored shipwrecks, like, explored as in on foot, as opposed to just going up next to one and looting it. Um, there may be diving, there may be creatures you have to fight against, I don't really see how that's going to be possible. It seems to be a very realistic uh, game. I mean, I did note sharks in the game, but graphically it looks no better than a PlayStation 3 game, and a bad PlayStation 3 game at that. This doesn't look any better than Assassin's Creed 4 did at launch, which was on the PlayStation 3, which coincidentally is when this game went into development. So it looks like they made the game back then, somehow have sat on it for this length of time, and now decided to release the bloody thing. The character animations are terrible, uh, the voice acting was pretty mediocre. Um, th there was th there really wasn't anything I I, <laughs> I enjoyed about this, and I was willing to give it a chance. So, do I recommend you buy this? No, absolutely not. Um, but if sailing around and looting ships and doing mediocre fetch quests for uh, NPCs is your kind of thing, maybe you'll enjoy it. Oh, and you can. You get an outfit, of one, you know, you can dress your pirate up and you can get other shit. I, I mean, I'm so bored even just talking about it. I've literally just played the beta, just put it off. It crashed five times on me, I think, which is to be expected, but it's really frustrating. So I will not be picking this game up. Um, 
if you really want to know what it's like, play the beta for yourself and you can make up your own mind. But um, <laughs> my mind is already made and uh, I will not be getting this. So if you enjoyed this little uh, rambling review of mine, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And uh, remember, I will stay obsessed with gaming. <sighs> Bye, chaps. Are you still here? Oh, you must have really enjoyed this video then. In that case, you had better subscribe to the channel and check out our other content. Otherwise, you're a booby pads. And no one wants to be a booby pads.